involvement. But Blake Berman at the White House waiting for that news conference from President Trump, I believe, at the top of the next hour. I hope you're there, Blake. I, I am here. I know you're a baseball fan, Connell, so let's call in the righty. If, uh, if Ashley can't go, here I am uh, to start off the show as we are anticipating <laughs> President Trump right now. Uh, within the next hour or so, this was actually an impromptu announcement that the White House made this afternoon, saying that the president will be speaking from the Rose Garden at the top of next hour of the next hour. The White House is not exactly saying what this is about, though I am told from a source that the president will be speaking about China. Elsewhere within the administration, we've also kept our eyes today on the vice president, Mike Pence, as he has made the rounds in Louisiana. Perhaps there has been no issue more important or more front and center for this White House over the last week or so than trying to get the point out that they believe that schools across the country should open up on time and in a full capacity. That took the vice president to the campus of LSU as you're looking live. But here was the vice president from earlier today. As, uh, as the director of uh, CDC said not long ago, uh, we don't want federal guidance to be a reason why schools don't reopen. There was a bit of a reversal, though, um, Melissa and Connell, from the Trump administration within the last hour here. You'll remember uh, the administration was trying to put a policy in place that international students uh, on college campuses who would only be taking online classes would either have to transfer to another school to take classes in person or potentially leave the country altogether. However, there was a lawsuit that was brought by Harvard and MIT, and the administration is now backing off that stance, uh, a win for Harvard, MIT, and those international students. Back over here at the White House, next hour or so, uh, President Trump, we believe, to talk about China. Back to you. Watching that very closely, Blake. Thank you, sir. Melissa?